Moving on, a San Francisco-based company is making salmon sushi with a difference. The startup is growing fish in a laboratory as more and more consumers shift to plant-based foods. Researchers are investigating how science can now help produce sustainable alternatives to animal products. Take a look at this report for more on this. Our planet is already facing the dire consequences of global warming that's changing our climate. Many in the food business are pushing for a movement towards alternative proteins that would be a little less exploitative of the world's environment. The San Francisco-based cellular agricultural startup, WildType, has the latest prototype of cell-based salmon. Fish stocks are declining, uh, oceans are warming, planets warming up, and, and there's been a lot of movement toward alternative proteins right across the board. Um, as a way to create another choice, another solution, another option for, for consumers that, that might be a little bit easier on the planet. The company says it aims to protect wild salmon and the oceans and help resolve the issue of global food insecurity. The fish is made with real coho salmon cells grown in a brewery-like system in stainless steel tanks. It's the second most consumed uh, seafood that we eat uh, as a country uh, after shrimp and it's the most consumed uh, thin fish. It also has a huge amount of uh, culinary flexibility, let's say, right? The demand for wild fish stocks continues to plummet and salmon farms are faced with coastal warming due to climate change. It's also one of the most nutritious things that we can eat, yet there are all these downsides, right? So it's like eat your seafood, but maybe not so much because it might have a lot of mercury or you know, antibiotics or microplastics. Their salmon is intended to be sushi grade for use in rolls, nigiri, sashimi and Hawaiian style pork. The big step for the company right now is to find a way to upscale production. We are only growing the parts that we eat. So, you know, typically when a fish is harvested, um, there's so much of it that uh, is just discarded. Um, so things like, you know, the, the fins and tails and guts and parts that, you know, we, we don't consume. Um, and so when we uh, started wild type we wanted to really focus on just in the most efficient way possible create just what we eat the company's consulting chef Rose Ha is impressed with the progress that the product has made as of today I mean we're so close <laughs> even I after tasting the more recent prototypes I, I prefer this product over regular salmon and, and it's just because for me sometimes if you get fish that's just a few days old or maybe it's not super fresh, it does, it does kind of have a, a fishy smell to it. Many in the sushi industry are looking at new sustainable sources of seafood, wild Thai plants to eventually supply its salmon to sushi restaurants and retail chains. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.